Yeah, they look great, chef. Uh, just make sure you distinguish between the vegetarian and the vegan, yeah? Sure. Cool, thanks. It's a hive of activity in here. Yeah, we've got a big business lunch today. So anyway, where were we? The uh, uh, modelling job. Okay. I auditioned for this thing months ago, right? Mm -hmm. Never heard back. My agent thought I'd missed out. But no. Turns out I'm on the shortlist. Oh, congratulations, mate. Well, it's a bit early for that, but I am quietly confident. Free travel, awesome locations. Beautiful woman. Obscenely large paycheck and the best bit, major exposure. Yeah, and all this being nothing more than outrageously good looking, eh? Well, hey, there's more to it than just posing in front of a camera, you know? They want a performance. Acting. This is the real deal. <laughs> Hello, best agent in the world. Yeah? No way. Okay. Bye. Just a pretty face after all, eh? I should never have invited him to the party. It was totally unfair of me to throw him at my family like that. No, sure haven't twigged that Scotty's the guy for you. Because I haven't stood up and admitted our relationship. Well, I guess last night wasn't the night to be doing it, in front of all the rallies. I should have told them before the party, but I didn't. And it was exactly like I thought it was going to be. It was all about my betrothal to Dinesh. And I made it much worse by pressuring Scotty to come. It was so horrible for him. He was so hurt and so angry. Getting trolley didn't help. I drove him to it. It's an awful mess and I've got to try and fix it. I'm sure once his head stops thumping, he'll understand. Yeah, that I'm this terrible coward. Mr. Farr. I'll go. The table layout and decorations look fine. Fine? <laughs> I thought we'd done a pretty spectacular job, thank you very much. Let's move on to service. Consists. A guideline for maintaining effective professional discourse and avoiding argument. For who? For you. As I mentioned before, the success of this lunch is crucial to the funding of the hospital's special projects. Therefore, I cannot afford any lapses of reason or self-control. You got this from a relationship guide. A personal relationship guide? Libby, what are you trying to tell me? Are these simple rules for communication beyond you? Karen? No, crystal clear. Basically, you're not up for another food fight. Absolutely not. Pity, I rather enjoyed the last one. Can we get back to the lunch, please? Ah, uh, no, sorry. Uh, it says here that you should look at the person you're addressing. Tell me about the menu, please. Again, apologies. What you should say is, I feel it is time we discuss the menu, and as well as looking at the person, bodies should be facing together. But I think you have a problem with that. No. You see, I like it when you face me and look me in the eye. But I think you're scared to do it because you think your feelings might run away on you. But maybe I'm wrong. I'll get the menu. Hey, tell me about it. Nothing to tell. I didn't get it. Oh, my, I was hoping for some free stuff. Gee, sorry, Soph, to disappoint you. Please tell me they've changed their mind. Yeah? Well, what did he have to say? Right. Well, I'll think about it, thanks. OK, bye. What? What happened? Well, apparently the reason I didn't get the shoot was because of my acting, not my looks. Yeah, well, Johnny Depp, you ain't. Well, Maxine seems to think that I should take an acting class. <laughs> You're yeah, right. Well, why not, if it's going to give me the competitive edge and improve my chances? Or be a huge fat waste of your savings. Why? Because you've never even thought about acting. Usually you have to be interested in something to be good at it. Well, I'm interested in earning big bucks and this is a means to an end. Besides, it can't be that hard. Hmm. As requested, there are four main options. Vegetarian, vegan, kosher and halal. Salad and bread, including wheat and gluten free. And condiments. Each dish has a little card listing the ingredients, so there shouldn't be any room for confusion. OK, we're looking good. What is that? That is what we in the trade call satay sauce. It contains peanuts, Karen. Peanuts that were specifically prohibited. Yes, but since only two of the group have peanut allergies and the ingredients are clearly listed, I didn't see a problem. Oh, it is a very big problem. I'm sorry, but this feels like a personal attack. Oh, for Please God's... do not shout, bully or threaten, and please, no temper tantrums. 
If you have a problem, I'd prefer it if you used I statements rather than making somebody else responsible for your emotional state. I am not reacting to this. You were trying to wind me up, but I am not going to let you. And now you're trying to mind read me. Libby, if you want to know how I feel about you, you just have to ask me in a direct, non-ambiguous way. Is this non-ambiguous enough for you? This is going. <gasps> Uh, that's right, don't panic. Don't panic! My entire professional reputation is on the line. Chris needs to know he can trust me. We can redo it. The delegates are going to be here in 40 minutes. Well, then hurry up and get down the Holfi store and get her a piece. Well, there isn't the time. Well, have you got a better idea? No, but... But, but what? Well, where is the Whole Food store, then? No. If half thy outward graces had been placed about thy thoughts and counsels of thy heart, but fare thee well, most foul, most fair. Farewell, thou pure impiety and impious purity. Well? Is he trying to kill her or something? No, he's telling her what a slag she is. For thee, I'll lock up all the gates of love, and on my eyelids shall conjecture hang to turn all beauty into thoughts of harm, and never shall it be more gracious. <coughs> <coughs> What's so funny? Uh, well, isn't it supposed to be? Uh, no, the guy's had his heart broken. Right. Well, it might pay to choose something else because you clearly have a gift for comedy, son. Quiet, you. Yes, dear. I think it's great you're doing in class. Yeah, well, you can all go and get knotted. <laughs> <laughs> well, bakery's out of gluten-free bread. Well, we cannot have bread. We've got normal bread. Well, what about the not normal people? What are they supposed to well, eat? Well, obviously not bread. Not helpful. Uh, excuse me, I was on me through peanut sauce all over the food. Well, you shouldn't have put it there in the first oh, place. Oh, right, yeah, it's my fault. Of course it is. Because it couldn't possibly be your fault, could it? You never is. You're so full of yourself. Oh, I'm full of myself. You're the most arrogant, self-centered... Caress! You're early. Lunch isn't for another 20 minutes. Is there a problem? No, no problem. Good. Everything's absolutely under control. Good. We're running a bit late. I hope they won't mess up your schedule. No, not a problem. How late? About half an hour. That's fine. Back to you, then. Thank you. Bye-bye. Stop fighting and start cooking. Well, what about the chef? He's not Superman, Libby. The only way we're going to get through this is if we all muck in together. How are you? I'm busy. Scotty, please, wait. I am so sorry for the way things ended last night. It wasn't just the way it ended. The whole thing was a nightmare. Having to watch you and Dinesh playing the happy little couple. I was not happy, you know that. Your family sure as hell was. It was really interesting seeing just how invested they are in your marriage to him. I know, it's out of hand. So why don't you do something about it? Tell them about us. Please, Scotty, it's hard. I have been brought up to always put the wishes of my family first. To be a good Indian woman who shows duty and respect to her elders. But the pressure and the expectation is huge. So how far will this playing along go? All the way to the altar? No, I promise you... I'm over your promises, Shanti. OK. The only thing that's missing is the gluten-free bread. Oh, we're finished then. Oh my, oh, my God, we're finished. Yeah, we did it. No, we, we did it. We actually did it against overwhelming odds. <laughs> I think I'm going to cry. Oh. Oh, um. Well, I should probably get cleaned up. You know, it was actually quite good fun. Well, you might have had fun. Yes, I did, and so did you. Go on and admit it. You enjoyed the sparring and you enjoyed working together. We make a good team. My aim was to ensure that this lunch meets Chris's standards. You try and fool yourself, let me be cold for me. Let's get this shit on the road. Get out, mate. Ooh, bad hair day. You trying to be funny? Uh, pizza for salmons? My family think I'm a joke. Ooh, I remember how that feels. I think modelling's a waste of time. When I told them I was going to give acting a go, they just about wet themselves. Well, you want to be an actor? Yeah, I know. It's not a worthwhile career like, you know, being a doctor or... So? Well, I thought you'd be on their side. Man, yeah. you know what I wanted to be before this? Personal trainer? <laughs> Professional golfer? Yeah? Were you any good? 
I thought it was. Well, how come you're not doing it? Well, uh, combination of things. Probably wasn't as good as I needed to be. Well, you never know until you try it. True, but then I decided medicine was the right thing for me. <laughs> More worthwhile, see? No, 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 it wasn't about that. It was about weighing up my passions. And that's what you gotta do, mate. You gotta, you gotta ask yourself if you're really passionate about it. Well, the acting class is just to improve my modelling. You know, modelling's the thing. I haven't imagined myself doing anything else. OK. Sounds to me like you know what you want, then. Mate, forget about what people think. If it's right for you, then you go for it. Cheers. Thanks again for last night. Shanti's family were incredibly generous. The food was divine. It was a pleasure. I'm sure there'll be other occasions for celebration in the future. <laughs> What celebration? What were you talking about? Good afternoon to you, too. There is not going to be a marriage, Dinesh. I am with Scotty. And I am a patient man. You are a deluded one. It's not only what I want, Shanti. It's the wishes of your family. Then they are going to be disappointed. Really? Are you prepared to defy your entire family? You really think you can handle that kind of pressure? I know what I want. And yes, I am ready to defy them. You're a strong woman, Shanti, not a foolish one. There's having food perks this lot up. They're a doer bunch. Uh, if I could have your attention, the afternoon presentation will start at 3 o'clock. That gives us plenty of time to enjoy lunch and over lunch to perhaps learn about the exciting research projects and initiatives that the Shortland Street team have planned for the next financial year. Anyway, uh, without further ado, I'll hand you over to my PA, Libby Jeffries, who'll talk you through our lunch arrangements. Thank you. Hello. Uh, teamwork has been a major component in the preparation of your delicious buffet today. Anyway, my mother used to think I was a fussy eater. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a patch on you lot. Not that there's anything wrong with food allergies. They can be very nasty. Although I do realise for some of you, it's actually a religion that forces you to... to do it. Look, honestly, we're all kosher. Or oh, halal. Take your pick. <laughs> we're all good. And, oh, I promise you that not one peanut was harmed in the making of all this delicious food. Except for the satay. For those of you who can actually eat peanuts, that is. Thank you, Libby. Bon appetit, everyone. Enjoy your lunch. Maybe not a Korean stand-up comedy, eh? There's very little room for error with the eagle-eyed ICA mentors looking over the shoulders of our celebrity volunteers as the competition continues this Tuesday night at 9.35 here on One. <laughs>